Hello, I'm Michael Glass from MichaelGlass.com, where we focus on making informed decisions about our financial future. This is our Forex Technical Analysis Trading Plan for Monday, July 4, 2011. Before we begin our video, we want to start off with our disclosures. Any symbols that you see today should not be inferred as a trading recommendation. No matter what form of investing you choose, stock, forex, futures, options, they all have a level of risk associated with them. You can't lose all of your money. Any strategies we show today are for informational purposes only. Future results are not guaranteed. And finally, any investment decision you make is your responsibility to trade at your own risk. So as we said, this is our weekend technical analysis uh, trading plan for Forex as we have a uh, holiday in the States. So um, we're putting it out on Monday instead of Sunday. In each of our videos, we're going to look at the uh, price action from the previous week. We'll try to come up with some key support and resistance price levels. We'll look at the gold chart as it uh, relates to dollar. Uh, we'll come with a low volatility watch list and inside of our watch list and we have an education spotlight at the end. As always, if you have any questions or feedback, please send those to contact at dmbfx.com. Let's go to the charts. Okay, as always, we're going to start off with the daily chart of gold and we can see our, our push lower and we're watching two auction areas to make one big zone we're watching 1475 all the way up to 1547 and uh, we can see that on our uh, we know that m the majority market was is closed today but there are, is some trading going on and we can see that we we have a little up move here on the on on gold and and look where that up move happened. We have what we call the light volume vacuum. Here we had a little volume support at 1486 and then as price moved its way back up into the lighter volume it should start to hit a little resistance around 1498 and if we come over to um, our daily we can see that that's going to happen around 1500 and you can see that basically that's where um, this little swing low was uh, at the beginning of last week uh, the, another thing that we can see is that our volume is basically at parity which is maybe why we're sort of seeing a sideways action today and that's also going to be because what because uh, it is a holiday for the states so we're not going to have all the traders here so there's some light volume but what the daily action did do on the hourly is bring us up into oversold so if this little bit of volume resistance ha ha holds up then we may have a short setting up to push us back down towards the 1475 so as there's that uh, relationship with gold and dollar usually there's an inverse relationship gold up dollar down do dollar up gold down so we'll see as we go to the pound dollar and we can see a couple of things. First, we can see the downtrend that we're watching and whether or not we're going to make our, our track, our progress, all the way back up to the top of this downtrend line. One thing we see is that on this light volume day, we ran up to the 20 moving average and came right back down. Uh, but of course, volume is light at the current time. And so our indicators are going to be a little off because of the volume. Uh, but as we come to the hourly, we see a couple of things. Uh, the hourly did uh, give us, we were watching it here initially over the weekend and then today's action uh, ran us up and now we're coming back down. So we're still as far as long term view, we're above our long term moving average in a sell zone um, and we see that the uh, dollar is taking a little control with as compared to the pound. Not only are we seeing a little control, we can see that they're starting to diverge where the dollar is heading up and the pound is heading down. And we can see that in our averages right here too. However, our histogram indicator here is not, although we're in a sell zone and above the long-term moving average, we're seeing parity here and uh, so we need this to you know make its move we would love to see it come up here so run back up to 1.615 just to see what could happen overall so our overall view, view is uh, we're in the middle of our downtrend zone with a potential resistance of 1.6 we are above our long-term moving average 
We're seeing the dollar uh, take a little control and, and a little divergence between the dollar and the pound. As we switch over to the euro dollar, and again, uh, with our disclaimer, as we look at Monday's action in light volume, you can see that we popped our head above this downtrend line. It's going to be interesting to see if we actually close above this downtrend line, but for right now, we're there. Um, sellers, the selling volume is still outweighing the buying volume. Uh, and right now we do have a big doji and now we can clearly see on hourly we can see that we are clearly away from our long-term moving average we are in a sell zone uh, we did here's our example uh, we were looking for some type of dip or rise and here we've got it here on the uh, your pound but now we're sitting here in parity and why is that two reasons notice that we have the, um, the dollar heading up and we have the pound heading up and so when we have both moving up and both above zero we probably are going to see something like this a doji because there's going to be a parity neither in great control uh, and so that's why we're seeing a little parity finally we have the dollar franc we're in an obvious long-term downtrend long-term downtrend and we're looking at support at 0.83 uh, we have broken the um, 20 moving average so now the question is are we going to run all the way up and hit the 50 moving average certainly not sure we can see that the sellers though are still in control we are obviously in uh, well above a long-term moving average we are in a sell selling zone area but notice our histogram is not setting up a sell right now and the other thing we can see is that the dollar is control and we're seeing a divergence they're heading in different directions so the dollar being in control may lead towards um, a, 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 a continued move higher but again we're really gonna have to wait until uh, you know later today as Tuesday sessions opens and all the traders return to the market okay so uh, usually when we do have light volume, we are, are going to get some low volatility candidates. So we have the dollar Canadian, the dollar franc, the dollar yen, and the pound yen. Here we're watching the Bollinger Bands, the standard Bollinger Bands, standard two deviation, on a one hour time frame. And we're watching for our break out of that consolidation that happens. So when the traders return, we'll see what happens. For our inside bar watch list, we're watching the Aussie dollar, the dollar franc, and the dollar yen. Here, you mark the high and low of Monday's trading range, and we want to trade a break out of that range. Of course, you want to have your own confirmation for that, uh, but it is something that we want to watch. At the current time, we do not have anything coming up for our low volatility watch list. Uh, we'll see this uh, start to update itself as the... Uh, market uh, begins to open towards for the Tuesday session we are going to watch the pound dollar uh, with reference to um, our inside bar watch list and here what you're going to do is watch the high and low of Friday's uh, price action and watch to see if there's a break out of that it's not an instant trade you still need to find confirmation but it is something to watch so as we look at our education spotlight uh, we're going to focus on one simple question. Do you have full control of your emotions? Now, what we like to focus on in our uh, spotlight here is what separates losing and winning traders. And having that focus and discipline is definitely one thing that winning consistent traders have that losing traders do not. And the way that we can achieve that control and achieve that discipline and focus is by having a proven, back tested um, trading system something that you know that at, over a period of time you can look at a pool of trades and know that over time that my wins are going to outweigh my losses the money that I make is going to outweigh the money that I lose and so that allows you to have the confidence to pull the trigger and it doesn't allow you to get into that tick by tick battle that emotional battle of where you're deciding uh, should I or should I not and more importantly it allows you to uh, again control make this out, uh, out of a emotion decision and instead make it a rules-based decision 
So we want to thank you for, for watching our video. Um, at DMBFX, we are focusing on having serious trading, focused trading, and disciplined trading, and we're going to avoid the hype and avoid the emotions that are often pitfalls for our losing traders. Thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time.